my name is Sharon Ball. I'm the Executive Director of the Broome County Arts Council. And I want to welcome you all here for an Artistic Discovery Broome County Congressional High School Art Competition uh, 2015. And I wanted to also congratulate all of the participating students and the teachers who have helped them, you know, be all they can be artistically. If you are present and you hear your name called, please step forward. The awards are set up this way. We have three judges. They judge anonymously. The pieces are numbered and not labeled, so we can be as, so the process is as fair as possible. The judges are professional artists and teachers. And they look like this. It's hard to handle, actually. See what I mean? So I won't give you one of those. There we go. These are the awards. Um, one is for composition, one is for level of difficulty, line and color, originality, and use of media. The artist who gets the highest score across the board in all of those categories is the best in show. For composition, congratulations to Brooke Angelo of Vestal. And the, um, and the, uh, the award goes to Marjorie Donahue of Maine and Well. The line and color award goes to Mara M. Hager of Binghamton High School. You hear? Uh, are you? I'm Mara's teacher. You're Mara's teacher. What, what's your name? Cindy Folletto. So this is Cindy Folletto. Thank, Thank you, you Cindy. Shopping. All right. That's <laughs> great. And you have a certificate that has a notation on it. That's great. Congratulations. OK, the Originality Award uh, goes to Luke Dion of Shenango Valley. Use of Media Award goes to Georgia Baker of Harpersville. Categories and that Best in Show Award goes to Genevieve Mecklenburg of Binghamton. Enjoy the rest of your first Friday. Thank you so much for coming. And I just want to say that the talent in Broome County, you know, I keep hearing all this stuff about Broome County, and it's not always great, but the talent, the artistic talent in Broome County among the young people is inspiring. And, um, and it really does lift an old cynic like me. And I thank you for participating in this show. And I thank you for giving us here at the Broome County Arts Council an opportunity to live with this great work for the next month. The show will be up through April 3rd. And our gallery is open through the week, Monday through Friday, 11 to 5. Here are Cynthia Folletto, Amanda Kranz Gentile, Susan Northrup, and Caitlin Chan. The students from Binghamton High School who are participating in the show are Genevieve Mecklenburg, Mara M. Hager, if you hear your name, please step forward, Desiree Keyes, Julia Stanton, Connor Lang, Marnay Robinson, um, Yola Tamaraksa, thank you, see that's why you want the teachers up here, uh, Julie Doyle, Michael Allen Robinson, and Kyle Gage. Uh, Bob Zanon is the teacher, and let me go through the name. Step forward as your name is called. Leah Coaches. Uh, did I say that right? Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, Victor Mulligan. Megan Prouty. Uh, Sarah Volk. Jordan Broughton. Jordan Hundley. Kristen Reistetter. Emily Schmitz. And Luke Dion. This is Deposit's first year participating. Hello. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. The a teacher? Yeah. I'm uh, Sierra Tamlin? Yes. Yeah. And we have one piece uh, in there on the wall, that, that, the, that beautiful doggy face, with, you know, with a great heart, uh, by Emma Walker of Deposit High School. Okay, I like this piece of work because it just has so much balance to it. I like the way the, like, the rhythm flows between the different colors, between the background and the mountains where all the trees are. And then the color of the wood is just so stark in comparison with the sunset, and it's just so beautiful. 
I don't think it's that, but you might want to get that checked. <laughs> uh, Harborville Central School, the teacher is Amy Rossi Ashbaugh. The student artists are Amanda Rhodes, Dallas Furman, Miranda Congdon, Georgia Baker, Crystal Reigel, Regal, I knew it, <laughs> and Sarah Miller. Okay, let's, uh, the teachers from Maine and well are Jean Burlingame, I know she was here earlier to, this evening, Ke and Kelly Smith. Okay, students from Maine and well are uh, Madeline Severance, Tara Clark, Leah Detreville, uh, Elise Moss, Haley Rush, India Butts, Rose Natalie, Natoli? Natoli. Natoli, good. Daniel C. Fetterman, Jr., Melissa Hahn, Marjorie Donahue, and Gabriel Sawyer. Seton Catholic Central High School. Seton Catholic? No? No one here from Seton Catholic? Doesn't matter, we're going to call your names anyway. Uh, Maureen Schmidt is the teacher. And the uh, participating student artists are Lillian Kenyi, Sophia Terry, Yu Lee, Erica Yost, Jenna Machidi, and Samantha Nikolic. Yui's in the house, thank you. <laughs> Hi. Okay, Union Endicott, the teacher is Diane Golden. And the participating uh, student artists are Melissa Newberger, Victoria Nunn, Taylor Hessler, and Allison Herman. Uh, Vestal High School, Amy Pinnell is the teacher. And Marcy Peterson, uh, Caitlin Bailey, Brooke Angelo, Rebecca Tillerman, Danny Painter, and Allison Zindel are student artists from Vestal. Uh, the teacher, uh, Chris Rice, is the teacher at Whitney Point who's been participating um, in, uh, in artistic discovery for many years, could not join us tonight. And the student artists from Whitney Point are Audrey Rowe, uh, I think it's Chiana. Chiana. Chi got it. Chiana Frost, uh, Kaylee, Hitt, Kaylee Call, Callie, I'm sorry, Kaylee Call. Caitlin Warner, Katrina Taylor, Owen Wentz, Katy Perry, Abby Pardo, Emily Ferenza, and Shannon Taylor, our student artists. Thank you. You are Caitlin. Thank you. Since I've been doing this, Broome County has won. Broome County student artists from different schools has won the top competition the top competition four times. So you guys are good. And don't let anybody tell you. Here's an interesting piece, a chair made entirely of grass, by Josh De Marie. Carolyn Gilligan's watercolors are particularly sensitive. I often find that in the forest, the trees appear indistinguishable, uninviting and ubiquitous amongst all the others. But look at her winterized paintings of trees, with each given a particular color. This makes me think to stop and identify the particulars wherever I go.
the Holy Spirit. I, I just pray for people, and this is what these paintings come out like. I've heard all your lies in your alibi. Time to give a new plan, start acting like a man, make some changes. Take it on the chin, start all over again, do some rearranging. Stop your lies and alibis, apologize and make her realize she's out of danger. And maybe if you're lucky, she'll be standing right at your door to welcome you back in. Second chance Portfolio here. It's first Friday of March 2015. Hard to believe. Oh, hi, Meg. I'm Fami. I'm looking for something besides coffee and pastries. Do you know of a place? Yes, I'm just sitting down at, at Diamonds. Diamonds? Is it good? Yeah, it's my favorite place to eat. I'll see you soon. Located at 106 Green Street in Ithaca, diagonally across from the Tompkins yeah, County play. Public Library, Diamonds. Come to New Delhi Diamonds for buffet, all you can eat seven days a week. Featuring different dishes each day of the week so you can try out Indian cuisine at your own pace. Have as many plates as you like and stay for the view. New Delhi Diamonds, where you can try hot, fresh Indian cuisine at the all-you-can-eat lunch buffet for only $8.61 plus tax per person. To Genevieve Mecklenburg of Binghamton.
This is really just a result of something that I started when I was just a little boy. <laughs> so what is this a map of? Oh, it's up to you to decide that. I don't, I can't tell you, you know. I mean, this one was inspired partly by maps and partly by something that I saw in a, uh, a storefront window. It was an antique sculpture, um, probably mid-century. I don't know whose sculpture it was, but I just loved it. There's a, it, it reminds me of a metronome. It reminds me of one of those things that go click back and forth, you know, tick, 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 on top of a piano. And so I put place that over the, the, the map, you might say, you know. Also, I'm very fascinated by cages. <laughs> cages like dwelling cages, places for animals? Cages, or? animal cages, uh, you know, fences. There's a lot about fences and things. Enclosures. Uh, enclosures, right, exactly. Being withheld and then being free. Being allowed to explore and then being caged up, restrained, or restricted, limited in some way. So that's what they're really all about. And so then what is the value as these are going off into people's homes? Like, what, what do you hope to bring to people? Well, I think that people can react to them any way that they want. I mean, I, I don't usually like to tell people what I put them together. I don't like people. I don't like telling people the reason why I put them together because then that makes it very specific. I'd rather let the audience, the viewer, make up their own mind as to what it's all about. But sometimes the title is a, is a clue. The title of the painting is a clue, and people, when they look at these things, they don't. But it's for me, and I you know, prefer that the viewer decide for him or herself what, what it is for them. I mean, this is this one over here, for example, is Earth in the Balance. And I think that this is fairly clear as to what, you know, this is an iconic symbol for the Earth. But there are other issues here. I mean, it's really balancing on this scaffold, on this structure. 
and some might think, well, it's falling off, or maybe it's, you know, floating, or, you know, what is it doing? What is our Earth? What is our lives doing? But I don't want to read too much into it. I mean, I'd rather let people see it and make up their own minds, as I've been saying, you know. I think the thing that attracts people to this is that the vertical and the horizontal lines uh, and the, the geometric shapes that are within the composition that seem to play off of one another constantly. You know, there's a, there's a tension in this globe that's either floating or rolling or being trapped by this cage. The Earth is being uh, uh, held in place by this structure.